all of what we've seen is actually less a shift in U.S.-Egyptian relations than a deepening or acceler an acceleration of pre-existing trends or pre-existing trajectories. All of this, uh, the, you know, the, the revolution didn't add anything new. It just accelerated a process that was already happening. There was already, um, I think, tensions in terms of pro-democracy work, you know, there, that would uh, now and again that would come to the surface. Um, uh, you still have very close military and military ties and a strategic partnership. That hasn't been affected. I, I personally don't believe that that $1.3 billion was ever in serious jeopardy. Um, uh, I think the rhetoric on both sides got ahead of uh, where either side wanted, wanted it to be, but I think um, they were able to, to pull it back. Um, aid has become, ironically, an issue uh, and a source of great tension uh, as opposed to something that is of mutual benefit. That was the, uh, it's the original purpose. Um, so what does all of this mean? I agree uh, with, with Shadi. One of the things that we have to, uh, there, there needs to be a rethink in how the, the United States deals with Egypt. One thing is we're going to have to take Egyptian public opinion uh, and, and even in its more ugly forms, like uh, the populist uh, sentiment, um, we're going to have to accommodate that somehow. We're going to have to find some way to, uh, to work that in. Um, another thing that we've learned is that, e that, that the, the United States influence may be even more limited uh, than, we thought, uh, than we thought it was. Um, and I think we've seen the limits of aid conditionality. Um, um, uh, one, one thing that, another thing that we're going to have to rethink is our approach to foreign aid, not just in terms of the structure or the types of programs that we do, um, but the, the role that foreign aid plays. And I think we have to become much more creative and find ways to, for lack of a better word, indigenize somehow uh, the foreign aid. Somehow we need to make it not such a, uh, we, we need to soften the impact of of this foreign, what looks like, what we see as leverage or assistance, uh, Egyptians see as manipulation. Uh, and, and large numbers, large majorities of Egyptians oppose American economic aid in general. Um, uh, and even larger numbers oppose the kind of aid that goes to these uh, civil society organizations. Um, so overall, I think we're gonna have to see a, a, a real rethinking of the strategic partnership with Egypt, one that maybe uh, is based on a more equal footing between the two sides, more exchange and more reciprocity, um, and one, as Shadi mentioned, um, that includes the people, a relationship with the people and not just uh, those who govern them.